All right, everyone, we will wrap up with head coach Seb Hines. Uh, Seb, as always, to get us started, just how are you feeling after this victory? No, it was good. Um, you can see the effort that the players had put in. We had a, we had a good chat after the Houston game about, you know, um, what we needed to do, uh, bring it back, back to our identity, our style of play. And we showed today, like, you know, the commitment from the players, the desire, the uh, attention to detail and sticking to the game plan was brilliant. Um, and you have to win the game in, in multiple ways. And, you know, today we saw an opportunity to soak up a little bit of pressure and uh, trying to be lethal in the, the counter attack. And, you know, the goals were well taken. I'm really pleased for Adri and, uh, and also Messiah to get that goal because I know she's been working hard to get it. So overall, really pleased with, uh, uh, you know, all the performances. Austin? Seb, a couple of days ago, well, Friday, I guess, um, you said that this team has come a long way since that first game against Portland and there was a, a fire in this team's belly to kind of recoup what happened in, in day one of the season. Mm -hmm. How much did that kind of play a factor into, into this performance to be able to, to have a, a dominant performance against a top team in the league? No, it's massive. Um, you know, you look back at that game and it was, it was due to our own downfall that we lost that game. Um, you know, individual mistakes uh, and a team like Poland, they'll punish you. So again, we, we use that as fuel um, for the players to, to, to kind of prove people wrong, change people's opinions. You know, everyone wrote us off early on in the season, said we're not good enough. And now we're trying to change people's perception of what this team looks like. Um, you know, we've got a lot of young players um, here, but you can see the commitment. You can see they're all bought in and there's a real togetherness here. And, you know, ultimately the team, the team won the game um, because they're so tightly bonded. So, um, yeah, it was it was a great performance. Sean, you've been kind of working Julie back a little bit since she uh, came back from injury. Can you talk about how she played tonight, but also how you felt about her play in the last few games since she's come back? Yeah, when she got injured, because she had a terrific preseason, um, so it was a real you know it's uh, it's awful for her to to do so much preparation going into the season and then uh, get injured two games in. But, you know, the medical staff did a terrific job with her, made sure that she was fully fit to come in and make an impact. And you've seen the games that she's come in. Uh, she makes an immediate impact. Um, so, you know, to get the start today, her intent to go out, uh, players um, put them on the back foot, you know, get to the byline, put dangerous crosses in. Um, you know, even the opportunity that she got in the first half where she kind of falls over. But, you know, the intent is there um, to be hungry to score goals. So, you know, I'm pleased to have her here um, back fully fit. And, you know, she was she was brilliant like the rest of them. Go to Jay. Uh, so three straight home victories now. How pleased are you that the Explorer Stadium is a bit of a fortress? No, I said that at the start of the year. We had to make this a fortress. We had to make this an environment that's difficult to play in. And, you know, with the last three games, um, we've, we've shown that, um, you know, the crowd are terrific. The crowd fully get behind the team. They push them on. Um, and that helps having that 12th man in the, in, in the stand is, is brilliant to have. And, you know, I said at the start, we have to try our best to, to, to bring more fans into the stadium and, you know, behind the scenes, the club's done a terrific job of getting more fans into the stadium, but ultimately it's our job to put the performance together and make them want to come back. And, you know, with victories against Portland and Spirit, uh, Louisville, um, and even early on the season, the performances were there and then we fell a little bit short, you know, the 90th plus minute uh, game management, um, you know, that understanding of how to see our game. Might have might have changed the outcome of some of the uh, earlier results, but you know we're making good progress moving forward. Awesome. So just tactically speaking, it seemed this team had a a different tone to them with the cutting of passing lanes, pressing the back line, making them feel uncomfortable. Kind of paid dividends on Messiah's third goal or the third goal for the team. But just kind of talk a little bit about the the shift in the mentality on the pitch, not letting the, the Thorns feel comfortable on the ball? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's two sides of the game. Um, there's the obviously the attacking and the, the defending. And 
we had to show a little respect to Poland. They have good players. They you give them too much space, they can manipulate it. Even in short spaces, they can manipulate it um, really well. And we just tried to minimize the space that they can work in. So that's why our engagement line was a little bit lower. We made the less threatening players have the ball. Um, and sometimes when you're in them positions at the back, you get frustrated and you may force something that's not quite there. So that's where we felt we could win the game, um, being compact, being um, you know together in our defending and then be threatening in transition. You know, Ali coming in, you know, with her speed is a threat. You know, Adri in the 10 position as well is a threat. Marta picking up the the ball and switching the play and, you know, starting counterattacks. That's that's ultimately where we saw our uh, biggest positives to win the game. So, yeah, the players did extremely well. It's It can be uncomfortable not having the ball for a long time, but... That's that was the game plan, and it it worked. <laughs> and the gym. Uh, so Messiah Bright came off the bench to get that third goal. Just how crucial do you think that was getting that goal at that time as well against a team like Portland? Yeah, I know she's been working hard, and you know she puts a lot of pressure on herself. Uh, I know every forward um, is always going to get judged on goals, and you know we're really pleased for her as a staff that she was able to get a goal, and she took it really well. Um, I wasn't even looking. I, don't, I was. I think I was talking to some of the subs, and then yeah, I saw it hit the back of the net. So obviously, I was pleased with that. But yeah, um, part of her development is how you can make an impact off the bench as well. So you know, she's had a lot of starts, put a lot of pressure on her. So take her out of that pressure uh, environment. Come on, make an impact, and she did by scoring a goal, and that's that's what she can do. So again, we're all we're all really pleased for her and her performance. Last one with Austin. So I wanted to ask you about Emily Madrill and just her progression over the course of this season, especially for you as a former center back to to watch her and leading the team in tackles, leading the team in clearances tonight, coming up big in some very big stops, shading a lot of their best attackers, kind of forcing them off the ball. Just from her progression from day one of the season to now, uh, what have you seen from her? Well, let's use the two games, right? The Portland game away and then the Portland game today. And you can see the progress she's made, the development she's made in such a short space of time as well. So she's like a sponge. She wants to learn. She wants to get better. She's very uh, detailed in what she does. Um, so. Yeah, I'm really pleased with her, but not, I know like she's a rookie in the back line, but the back line was brilliant today, you know. Um, they're very much together in what they do. They they want to work for each other. They want to cover for each other. They communicate. Anna as well is part of that in, in goal. You know, the way that, you know, the ball goes over the top of the back line and she's there to sweep it up. Um, but not only in defensively, like in attacking and the courage that they showed to try and play out against, you know, a high pressing team, the likes of Crystal Dunn, Smith, Sagita, you know, even Coffey, you know, around the back, you know, we show courage to play and try and play the way um, that we want to play. And you could see that there was moments where it worked for us. Um, there was still a few shaky moments as well, but you know, the, the courage and the bravery that they showed to try and play was, was brilliant. And, that's kind of how we unlocked them in possession. Um, can't just be direct and just kick it up there because the more expansive you are, you know, they can be threatening um, in the transition. So, yeah, I could go from back to front on players' performances, even the subs coming in and making impact. Everyone played their part today, so I'm really happy for everyone, and uh, including the club as well. It was a big one.